Hello and welcome back to Okami! Last time we left off, we made our way through the Imperial Palace. We met Kaguya, Mr. Bamboo's granddaughter. We also met the sheep uh, brush technique god. And he is the one with the mist where we can stop time. And we made our way all the way up to the top where now we're going to be jumping inside of the king, aka the emperor. And so let's get this started! Check it out, Ami. The Emperor is directly below us. It's like the Royal Oath's mouth is just begging us to dive on in. Oh my, Isun. Okay, we're over the Emperor's head right now. Let's dive into the gas bag's big old mouth. Okay, sounds good to me! I'm surprised he didn't choke on us. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Wow, Ami. You're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down in the back of the throat. I bet if we tickle it, this royal elf would sneeze. That'd probably be our best bet for getting out of here. But let's save that for later. We're going the other way now. Very interesting. I never expected somebody's back of their throat and head to look like this. This is very unhealthy. If you ask me, it's pretty green. And here is a little save area if you want to save, of course. We don't need to, but first... We put up our god meter. Wonder what's in there? I have a feeling we're in for trouble. We're not gonna turn back now, are ya, Miami? Wanna turn back? No way. Good answer. Okay, now, you know the drill. Leap before you think. Okay. Leap before you think. Leap before you think. This is pretty gross. Ooh, it's getting worse. Second by second. Uh-oh. He looks pretty sick. No way. This is insane. That mist. It's alive, Ami. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh my, she looks like a porcupine. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison. Waging battle with me inside a human body will have be zero, uh, no easy task. Even now, Goldnail, the mighty sword, carries out, oh, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the abominable blight, may cut you down. Oh, Isu, be careful, dude! <laughs> I'll step forward, all right. You're a real piece of work. Blight better say your prayers. You undercut wretch. Be warned, you are in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break, a little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that, you're the one behind the poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an 
elaborate, elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my superior blade, Dekamaru, I, the magnificent, magnificent Isun, shall red the hulk of junk you call a sword. Ooh! Good idea, Ami. I worry for Isun's health. No, 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 no. He's a little quick. So what we actually need to do... Is to just wait for our opening, of course. Right there. Easy peas a lemon squeezy. There he goes. <laughs> oh, we got some new beads. Hooray! This is great. I want to trade mine out for a while. You obtain divine instrument exorcism beads. Purifying rosary that contains the power of holy light. Light, a disease residing within the emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed word, a uh, cursed sword, gold nail, was the source of the acid mist that had plagued the capital's season. Citizenry. But even a creature so despised, despicable, and full of hatred was no match. For I, uh, for our interpreted heroes, Amaterasu and Ithun, Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amatrasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil cons conspired to cut the tranquility uh, scene short. From Gold Nail's defeat form rose the familiar blackness, the spirit of evil and hatred that had risen within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea rose slowly skyward. Make no mistakes, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that disrode from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose. When it shot off towards the distant sea over the horizon, it moved with purpose as if to a rendrance with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal Routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey, you! Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, hi, Ethan! You had it coming big time, gas bag! You aren't even in the same league as the magnificent Ethan! Well, Burble, that's that. How about one of those victory hells? Oh, wait, I almost forgot. The babe, Kaguya, is still locked up. Amy, seems Pop is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with wa waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do ya? Watch and learn, furry friend. Whoa, Eastoon. First, I'll stir up his stomach like this, and then... What the yikes! What's happening? 
Oh! Um... What the? Hey, are you okay, Amy? Looks like we managed to make the Empress stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oaf moving. Let's get him over to where we're holding Kagura. Look how he walks, guys. Ugh. I guess this controlling human business is harder than I it looks. We gotta get the big shot over there to Kagura's cell. Okay, let's head over to her cell. Got it. Just want to show how he walks. It's kind of silly. Either that or it's just because Amaterasu is controlling him. I'm not sure. Oh, your majesty. You're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was in prison just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, your highness. Oh, don't worry about it, dude. No worries. No worries. We don't judge here. Oh, look at his little feet go! Oh, your highness! I know you have already refused to see doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Er, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Are you... the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear! It's all my fault! How shall I ever apologize? Um, let's see... How about you start off by making me a hundred dumplings? Uh... <laughs> Just pulling your legs, sweetie. That voice! You think we buy the farm that easily? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now, let's make this royal oaf open your cell. Let's see, um, yes. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit-chat, Bamboo Girl. We freed the Emperor from that monster's controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do it too. Now, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Coochie, coochie, go! <laughs> I can tell that you wanted to you want to do Amy. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give me one of those victory howls to wake up the emperor. Oh, we did it. That's right. That's right. Good time. 30,000 yen. Right here. Your girl. I wonder what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya, and I remember a sec secret treasure from across the sea of fire, but I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by strange spirits. Blah. Talk about troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe in all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wolf and a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you too. I must apologize to Queen Hamako for my unforgivable blunders. Himago? Yes, that's it, Amy! The city's come... Uh, the city's got complete mess, and Queen Kamiko's doing a... Th uh, it's not doing a thing about it. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her 
playlist? Boy, am I gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling as you... As if you know me inside. Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon things, you know. If you have any for me, you can take some of my treasures. People will probably say I'm foolish giving treasures to a wolf, but you're my lucky wolf, and I'm certain some good will come from it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? What do you think? Would you like to make a swap? Oh, that's a good one. Calm would definitely help with getting treasure. This is the most important one, though. Ah, amateur Uzu. Our general is good and alert to us all. Our separation has weakened me, my power has been and are like mist. Let your heart pure enough to pierce the darkness, reawaken me. The steel of mist will protect you. My power has reached its peak. I hereby dispel upon you the power of mist war. Thank you, home dog. Whoa! Never expected something like that from a flask. Bet that royal oaf didn't even know what was in that thing. Now about wo uh, mist warp. I don't know exactly how to use it, but the important thing is you got another technique back. It's fast travel. Uh, scroll Dawn by a wandering artist contains useful information. Speaking of which, I... Bale of Mist. How do I... Jameer's crave, uh, craved your memory forever into the an um, annals of time. Among these mythical mirrors are especially special ones known as ultimate origin mirrors, which possess incredible divine powers. Draw an X symbol on an ultimate origin mirror. Use Veil of Mist to activate the Mist Warp technique. Use this technique allows you to teleport to ultimate origin mirrors and other locations. Perfect. Oh, keep missing. That's embarrassing. I'm gonna go back and get the Isun one. Because I'd love to have me some treasure. That's gonna be really good, man. Oh, I see a treasure chest right here, though. I also see one over here. So we have to do some more dry uh demon fang hunting too. Ooh, we also got a stray bee. That's good. This dude likes to hide a lot of treasure in his garden. can't tell this is where we kind of ventured came through that wall we walked this way and we walked that way we went through these deer scares and we came up this way into his room I wonder if we... Ooh, didn't do anything so we're gonna make our way out of here oh wait after we get this chest
they don't know who they messing with. Hey, Kaguya. Hey, hey, ya bamboo girl. What are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You could go anywhere you want. Oh, hello, you two. I hardly recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. You certainly cut a dashing figure of, at full size. You think so? Well, actually, I heard stuff like that all the time. Uh, oh, yes, I meant... I meant you too, Isun. Anyway, the city is, is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. The emperor f a fellow's got an eye out for that treasure of yours, right? You should get away before the others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seemed awfully lonely, you know? Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. I would really like to return, but... You're not his granddaughter? You mean, your real family lives somewhere else? Uh, anyway, you should just go see him if you feel that way. Uh, I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. The bamboo cutter took me home where I was lovingly took cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, then why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past, but I do recall a faint memory. I thought long and hard while I was in prison. It was then that I remembered being in a small dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. And... I feel I must get there as soon as I can. Mm. I cannot escape that feeling. Mm. That's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back to. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in a flashes. Together, they'll form a vision. I see a royal crest. Inscribed in earth in mid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasha's sanctuary. There, it shall all become clear. Okay. Huh? What's gotten into you? I mean, first with the dark room, and now you suddenly want to go to Sasha's sanctuary? I don't know to where I must return. But I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination. It drives me to seek the royal crest. I must leave for Sasha Sanctuary at once. Oh. Hey, wait, Bamboo Girl, wait! Oh, she's gone. There goes Bunny Helmet. She's gone, she's real gone. I that's a one. Taking care of them trees. They can use a little bit of help. Check out what's in here, of course. I have no idea who these people are. Have you 
happy you heard the news, Pooch. It seems that the Emperor has gotten over his illness at last. He's back to his gentle old self, thank goodness. I cannot tell you how relieved I am. <laughs> That's good. Ah, it's been a long time since I've seen my husband look so happy. Although we're in the Emperor's service now, my husband and, and he were great friends during their school days. There's nobody happier than him now that the Emperor's better. Well, that's good. I'm happy for you guys. Why can't I not go out there? I was thinking I could go out there and grab a chest, but nope. So actually, we're gonna make our way a little bit this way. Oh my goodness gracious. How many times have I tried that? And I've done like a perfect circle like each time. It's insane. Oh my goodness. There we go. Finally! Gosh, it took forever. You probably noticed that that's a mermaid pond. Oh, this is a dude fishing. We'll do his quest later. Right now, I'm just gonna take care of the aristocrats' uh, quarters. And then we're probably going to end off the episode today. <laughs> I keep doing the wind. Why? It's not what I want. Ocean swims a mighty beast till he who keeps the sea at peace. Oh, what a magnificent we behold in this dragon, water dragon, oh so bold. It's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently, the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea. It's actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? Nope, you told me that now. I learn new information every day and become very smart. Wolf's IQ is up by like a thousand now. some sake. We're gonna go into this house. So this seems to be the house of where the guards live. Or where they learn and stuff. I don't feel like talking to them right now. We'll talk to them in the next episode. Or the episode after that. So stay tuned for that of course.
Okay, everyone, we are actually going to end off the episode here today. We have taken care of the Emperor. He is all better. He is no longer sick, and everybody else in the, uh, the city is back to normal. So if you enjoy the series, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we're going to see Kaguya in the next episode. Thank you guys so much, and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>